Hi everyone, it's Kay here today to do some quick and easy cards using the, um, the what if, I don't know what to call them, these journaling cards from the, the pocket cards for, from the Unique Creative, from the um, Holiday Spirit collection. So you've basically just got a card base, which is also from the Unique Creative, and just do a couple of quick cards today. Hope this video finds you well and keeping well because this is the time of the year when people seem to get coughs and colds and <clears throat> flus and whatever. I don't know why. I think, you know, like you find that in schools, like there's the change of the season from the cold to the spring, whether it's because there's more pollen around or because of whether sort of like up and down, up and down, I'm not sure. So this is just going to very carefully go on the card base, but there will be a little bit of um, overhang, which I'll have to trim off, because they're a little bit bigger than the cards, so just turn it over, trim it off, a pair of scissors, you can use a knife if you like, if that's what you prefer using scissors because that's what I prefer. So I'm going to use, this is from the Creative Cuts, one of these um, <clears throat> trucks with a tree on the back. I'm going to use the foam mounts which are also from Uniquely Creative. I'm trying to use up um, a couple of here that I've sort of got a few at the end. <laughs> I've got them just at the side here to remind me to use them up. Before I start a new packet. Pop that just there like that on top of the then I'm going to use this element here that came from one of the 12 by 12s just like that. But this is gonna I'm going to use this also from, also from the creative cuts underneath like that. So perhaps I should stick that down first and then maybe I might foam out that one as well. Could probably do it the other way around, okay, so you know what you're doing. Cut it like that. I have a star to go on there. Where's my star gone? <laughs> oh. There was a star. Don't tell me I've lost it in amongst all my stuff. I had one of the big stars that were also from the. I was going to put the star there. So I don't know what it is. Excuse me a minute. So it might be underneath my glass mat, but it's not. How annoying. Well, that's the only one I had as well. So uh, hopefully it'll come to light in a minute. So just persevere, keep going on. Put that. Don't want to foam out that now. We'll keep it flat. It's going to foam out a lot. What happened to that star? Don't you just hate that? It was just here a minute ago. <laughs> just hope it hasn't landed in the bin. Or on the floor. Doesn't seem to be. I would really particularly wanted to use that particular star too. This is one from the one from the um, Creative Cuts. So if you've got one, use it. I think I might have to buy, use a wooden one that I've got from the previous purchases from Uniquely Creative. To rub out that glue because it's just too much glue. And I have no idea. Excuse me a minute, sorry. I haven't had these out before, but I was going to use the one from the kit, so I apologise. 
it's got um, glitter on it from a previous make, but it's not more that style. Just use that one there. Because of this, these are quite thick, this, this card will be, be hard to post. Because you've got lots of layers. Might have to be a card given in person. Okay. It would have looked a lot different with the one from the, from the collection. I'm so sorry. I'm giving you a different alternative. Anyway, but there's that one. And I'm also going to use the this and I've actually cut under there with a um, knife just prepared earlier and I'm going to put this doily in through the gap there just to make it a little bit pretty it's not easy as you can see <laughs> <laughs> Why I do these things under myself? I don't know. You get these ideas and you have to do it. Okay, just a little bit of. I'm going to glue that before I uh, cut it, I think. It could move. Hard to know how much to, to glue, really. Gently, gently, because it can rip. Right, so now I can um, put some double-sided tape on that last side. I pretty like that side as well, not at all. Which side will I use? But I'm using this side. I've got to keep an eye on the time because I've got a physio appointment this morning. Let's take the um, backing off. Nearly there. That's fine. Put that on top of this carpet, make sure it's right way round. This is going to be too big as well, so it has to be trimmed as well. And then for this one, I'm going to use. Merry Christmas strip across the bottom and the bottom of the 12 by 12s. Pop it there just above the little white line. Then I'm going to put this, put this behind. the glue on there now so I can work out where to put it. A little glue on the back. Put that there. And then I'm going to use this other truck. I don't know what to call them trucks and these one, these these ones trucks. There you go. 
and there's my second card quick quick and easy card now this next card I've got is a little bit more complicated because I cheated a little bit because I did a lot of stuff but anyway we're using this particular base now again from those pocket cards And as you can see, these, these cards didn't take a lot, a lot of time to put together. So, have a go. Because if you're a card maker and you get the kit and you're thinking, oh, what am I going to do with these pocket cards? I make great bases. You can build your card around it. This is Patrick on her channel, so used a few of these. Which way around is it? That way around. Okay. Now I did use a doily. This is also from a Nuka Code, but I inked it up with lots of different greens. <laughs> Uh, forest moss, um, citron, citron green, and I can't think of the other one, just to give that green colour to match the background. I'm going to use one of these wreaths. This is also from the Creative Cuts. Um, oops, that's in the middle. Don't really need it, so I'm put that there. And then I'm going to put this on top. You're thinking, why are you putting that on top? But it, because it's just hiding the other one, but it's going to—it gives the other, this one here, a bit more depth. Because without it, this looks a bit lost. Um, if you just put that on the on the doily, but you could if you wanted to. Personal choices. We're all different and we like to do things differently. This is more foam tape from Nuka Cove. Just trying to spread it around. They're all about the same height, I think, from memory. They look like the same height. If you don't have foam mats, you can use uh, packaging. If you get the kit, that lots of the things come with backing. You can use those. You can use one layer or two layers. And then I'm going to use this Merry Christmas here. Last one. Okay. Again from the Creative Cuts. So I use basically the Creative Cuts to create my cards and the pocket cards from the kit, from the Creative Kit. And there's my three, three quick and easy cards. So Hope that uh, gives you some inspiration and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. I found, I was going to get under my chair and I didn't see it because it's actually under, right under my chair. So go and stick it on because that's what I wanted to be in the first place. Again, it's from the Creative Kits. Cuts, sorry, I should say. Creative Cuts. It's, well, this is from the Creative Kit, yes. That's better. Much happier now with that there. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed those cards and uh, we'll see you again next video. This time is goodbye. Bye-bye.